Not his sister too, dude! Everything! This man lost everything in one day! And we're back. Today we're gonna be reacting to the first episode of Vinland Saga Season 2. I know I haven't reacted to it on the channel because I actually did watch this like, what was it, like two years ago I watched Season 1? Before I even thought about making a YouTube channel. And I really, really like Vinland Saga Season 1. If you haven't seen Vinland Saga Season 1 and you still want to watch this video, well, goddamn, I love you. Thank you for watching this video for me. But I highly recommend you go and watch Midland Saga Season 1 because it's awesome. And it's one of my favorite stories. I think after watching it, I did give it a 10 out of 10 on my anime list. Like, I'm pretty sure I liked it that much. The story of revenge, man. The story of Thors and Thorfinn. Thors being the, the great warrior, but never really valuing that and always just val valuing his family and a better life. Trying to pass that down to his son, Thorfinn, who never really got the message and instead, after his father was assassinated, decided to go on a revenge plot his, for his whole life from when he was like six, seven or eight years old. He was really, really young, trying to kill the man who was commissioned to kill his father. Remember, Askeladd really didn't harbor any ill will towards Thor's he just was hired to do it by Floki and so like he never really had any kind of like bad blood between him and, and Thor's but it, that was the object of Thorfinn's rage and revenge and for you know what was it like 10 12 years he followed Askeladd and his group trying to find the opportunity and get stronger to finally kill him but by that point he had respected him so much they had almost become like a father and son at that point, even though, you know, Thorfinn wanted to kill him so badly. And he never got that release, man, because at the end of the day, he was either the bastard son of the king of the Saxons or his, and his mother had been killed by the king of the Saxons, something like that. So he wanted revenge on the king and he was waiting for his chance to get revenge. He actually did kill and he did actually get his revenge. So in the end, Askeladd gets his revenge on the king and dies doing it and so Thorfinn doesn't get his revenge on Askeladd such an amazing story man the freaking team that did it by the way was the same team that did Attack on Titan the first three seasons and I'm repping my Attack on Titan sweater today because this this anime season two is being done by MAPPA same one that did Chainsaw Man the same one that did Jujutsu Kaisen our current anime second tier gods only to UFO table, MAPPA is doing this, and I'm excited to see how they adapt the next arc of Venland Saga. I have not read the manga, so this is all going to be brand new content for me. Super excited to see what Thorfinn does after his life is pretty much empty at this point. Like, he, all he had in life was that revenge. Will he finally come around to understanding Thor's message? I'm excited to see how it goes. Hopefully you guys are too. If you go on to enjoy the reaction today, Please do leave the video a like for me. It really helps me out. YouTube algorithm, you know how that got, that stuff works. But also, if you want to see more reactions from me on the channel and get almost daily uploads, make sure you subscribe if you're new and ring the bell so you get notified every time I upload a new anime reaction on the channel. So thank you guys so much for watching today. Let's get into it right now. Vinland Saga Season 2. Let's go. Somebody's forging something. Carve it. Oh. Whoa, that's a sick tattoo. Whoa, what language is he speaking in? That the horse is plowing? Carve it into the land. Oh, I already like the way this looks, man. Oh. Okay. Dude, if somebody knows what language this is, let me know. <laughs> baby. And the baby gets blood on its face. Ooh, that's gotta be symbolic, right? Carve that warmth into me. This is a new character. Wood chopping? Alright, we're out in the country. Episode 1 is called Slave. Oh, is Thorfinn a slave now? Anar. <laughs> Sister? Oh, it's not, he wasn't supposed to be wood chopping that tree. <laughs> Training for battle against the tree? Behold my power! Man, I think I've said that before <laughs> when I was a kid. So these are brand new characters. I don't know any of these people at all. 
Damn, she threw a knife at him? Oh, dude, is this Vinland? Good guess, but actually no. Because the whole thing about Thor is, was like he was looking for Vinland, right? Like that was his goal is to one day go to Vinland and bring his family to Vinland so they can live in happiness. Is this Vinland? Where is this? Vinland being like similar to Greenland or Iceland, I think. It's so beautiful. Look at these backgrounds, dude. After it was burned to ashes, is this a place that was raided by Vikings? I'm sure dad would. The fact that... The fact that it just cut off there about who dad is, I wonder who his dad is. I bet his dad is somebody that we know from season one. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Whoa. He loads his way around to teeth. So do I, man. Cap. The losing sign. Dad died protecting us. <laughs> Honestly, what else is there to live for? I would fucking live here with, with two beautiful ladies out in the countryside. That sounds amazing. Although, I don't know if they're related to him. I think they're his... his maybe they're related to him, though. <laughs> Although, I wouldn't mind that either. You know, living with family is nice. Aww. That must be mom, right? That's gotta be his mom. I like how defined their faces are. They definitely give you that... They definitely give you more of like a European feel than the normal anime faces that we see where they are kind of less defined in the noses and the, more defined in the eyes. Um, th these like these designs are just so much more realistic and I love it. Man, I'm just waiting for this all to burn to the ground at some point, right? Yep, here it is right here, of course. <laughs> Wait a minute. Is this, is this a flashback or is this happening to the village currently? These are Vikings, right? Oh, oh, this is happening. This is happening now. Oh, shit. After all that burning. Yeah, I, I didn't know that was going to happen, dude. <laughs> Y'all are going to think that I read this or something. No, dude, I had no idea that was going to happen. I just said knowing Vinland Saga, the Vikings are coming. Dude. <laughs> I did not know. Dude, I the predictions are back. The predictions are back from Bleach, man. <laughs> For my Bleach reactions. She's having a panic attack because this has happened before, right? And it's scary. Because they're going to and pillage the women. I gotta, I gotta censor that, by the way. YouTube does not like that word. Oh no, she's definitely gonna get caught. I feel it. Oh no! Not the mom, dude! That hurts so bad! I just met her and I already feel it. Oh, the definition in their eyes. Oh, mom, no. Oh. Oh, it's deep. Oh, it hit her, like, right in the back on the left side. It might have gone through the heart. Oh. I just can't, dude. I know this is, like, characters we just met, but it's, like, it's th it's your mom, dude. Like, imagine if you're, like, walking down the street one day and then your mom just got shot in front of you. Like, that's what just happened. That's what I'm. That's why I'm getting emotional just thinking about that. This is so sad. Oh, man, this is horrible. She had that much left in her. Oh, my God. I'm gonna cry. <gasps> She's even laughing. Oh, this is so hard to watch, man. The expressions in their face are just... Dude, Mappa's killing this. I... <laughs> oh. I did not expect to get hit that hard today, dude. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh no. You didn't run, you didn't listen. Oh no. Oh! You should have went for the neck. 
Should have went for the neck. Oh no! Not his sister too, dude. Everything. This man lost everything in one day. Oh my god. These guys are treating them like they're not even people. This is the reality of freaking Vikings, dude. This is the reality of, of what it was like back then. And then they take him away. His mom and sister killed in front of his eyes. His village burned to the ground. It's really unfair. He wasn't strong enough to protect them. This is so fucking sad. Holy shit. I didn't know we were going to start this hard, man. Oh, look at him. Oh. I mean, yeah, I would feel that way too. Oh, heart-wrenching cry. What does that say? A fur on barren land withers with neither bark nor leaves. So too does the man loved by none. Why should he live a long life? I just got chills reading that. Holy shit. That's deep. And Thorfinn was one of these Vikings. Are they t capturing them as slaves and they're going to sell them? Is that what's happening? So where was that? Is it even worth living? That lady's literally dying right there. This is going to live for revenge, man. This dude's going to live for revenge, isn't he? Just like Thorfinn did. Are you just going to throw her in the ocean or something? What the hell? You are correct, sir. Dude! She can't swim. She's fucking sick and die. Oh my god, that is brutal. They can't sell her if she's gonna die in this, of an illness, so they just throw her off the ship. Oh. Oh. These got okay. So this is post the Vikings selling them to these people. So this is a slave trader right here. Does he want to jump in and run, try to run away maybe? But how far away would he be from land? And it's freezing cold water? No chance. Whoa! He's thinking about it. I have to live. Oh. This is an insane start, dude. And we haven't even seen Thorfinn yet. Is he being bought right now? Is that one of the buyers? That's Anar still. Looks completely different with that short hair. Can he run away? Yep, he's dipping. He's trying. He's not going to get away. Can't believe they let him get away like that. What? <laughs> he's going to steal from someplace? Some cheese? Oh. He needs to survive. Oh, they found him already. He can't run away. Oh, he got beat up. How far can you really make it, you know? So where are they, though? Oh, that's hard. Is he getting whipped? Oh, he is. Oh, man. That's hard to watch, man. Look at this guy. He's getting off on this. Oh. Oh. Boys with a cuter face. Yo. Special products, man. It's hard. Man, when it comes to this kind of stuff, it's kind of hard to watch. I don't want to say the word anymore. YouTube's already probably thinking about demonetizing the video. <laughs> he can't run away. He doesn't want to go. His home is obliterated. His sister and mother killed in front of his eyes. Village burned down. He lost everything. Is this... Leaf? Is this Leaf? From it is Leaf, dude. Leaf, what are you doing here? Also, do you know this guy? Finally, a character shows up from last. He looks nothing like him. 
Oh, Leaf is looking for Thorfinn. That's what it is. Okay, there we go. Leaf is looking for Thorfinn because Thorfinn may have been sold into slavery too. Yeah. But maybe he can go with Einar? Yep, he's looking for Thorfinn. I wonder if Einar runs into Thorfinn at some point then. You're goddamn right. <laughs> Thorfinn. Is Einar is completely alone in this world now. Oh! Is that Floki? No. No, it's not Floki. Floki looks different. What are they looking for? Like a disease? Here's where we get. I want to know. A farmer in northern England. Okay. Oh, he's going to at least go to a farm? This is your chance. Oh, but it, maybe it's like a PTSD for him. No, I don't think we actually know that guy. He's a new character, too. Okay, so he does go with them. Or do we know him? If we know, if that character is from season one, please let me know. It's been a while. I don't remember all of the like side characters on the Viking ships and all that. I wonder if he's gonna treat him right. Treat him right. Oh, how is this farm? Is it gonna be massive? Oh, the wheat. Wait, is this Vinland? They just got off the, and it's a wheat farm. They got off a ship. I'm still looking for Vinland, guys. <laughs> wow. And people are happy. Oh, he's thinking of his sister and her his mom. Oh. The music is just adding on to that. Was that really true? Is it worth it? He'll escape at some point, right? He's struggling. In literally ha like eight minutes, you did. Thorfinn is here! I knew it! So wait, is he going to remember that that guy was looking for him? That Leaf was looking for him? Here we go, here he is. Whoa, how much time has passed? He looks older. Is he gonna remember that? I was beginning to think that way, that he would be okay being asleep. He does remember! Oh shit! He looks so much older, man. How many years have passed? Holy. So after all that, like I said, Thorfinn was sold into slavery after he was captured by the by the Anglo-Saxons, I gotta imagine, right? That's probably what happened. Whoa. That was how Thorfinn and Ot. Okay. So Einar is gonna be a main character then. Let the farming arc begin. <laughs> Alright, we'll check out the ending alongside it. Ooh, it's English. It's like an, ooh. Ooh, she's got a great voice. Ooh. Wow, the visuals. Him seeing him his past self. Without love. Oh, whoa. This is awesome. Oh. Woo. Oh, my God. This is so good. L M Y K without love. I'm getting chills listening to this. Her voice is beautiful, man. And then the visuals. Oh my god. The lyrics, too. There's no freedom without love.
Wow, and then they become friends. Dude, what an intro that was, guys. Holy crap. Okay, being introduced to Anar in the beginning there, like, we didn't even start with Thorfinn. Such an interesting way to begin this season with Anar's story. And, dude, I was not expecting to get emotional going into this episode at all, but seeing Anar, like, living a happy life on a farm with his mom and his sister and his father who died protecting him. I wonder who, maybe his father is somebody we know from the first season. I hope so, that'd be cool. But like seeing all of that and how happy they were on their life on the farm in Northern England, I guess, and all of that taken away from them instantly and having to see Anar witness his both his mom, especially his mom and his sister killed in front of his eyes by Vikings. And then him sold into slavery. What is left to live for, man? That I totally could understand if you were in that scenario. Like, what what is left for you at that point, you know? Like, what, what do you even do then? Like, his mom promises him that he needs to live on. And then, you know, the slave trader tells him that, you know, he, he's going to live better if he just gets meets a nice owner who feeds him rather than being a beggar. He has no idea where he is. We don't know where we are actually and at this farm um, with the orphan. We have no idea where this is. Is this Vinland or is it somewhere else? And what happened to the orphan? We still need to figure out about that, but just that's an awesome way to start the next part of this story. Because if you remember guys, season one of Vinland Saga was the prologue of Vinland Saga. And that means we have a much grander tale to embark on. So this is just the beginning here. Anar is definitely gonna be uh, definitely gonna be a main character, and he's going to be the one person that Thorfinn interacts with the most, I can already tell. We need to figure out what happened to Thorfinn after the assassination of, of the king of the Anglo-Saxons. And we need to figure out how he got to put into slavery. And I already see conflict coming between Einar and Thorfinn if they start talking about their histories. Because th remember, Thorfinn was on a Viking ship for, for like most of his life with Askeladd and all of them raiding villages, killing people, you know, doing things to women and, and se selling people into slavery, just like what happened to him and Einar. So I can already tell that Einar is not going to be happy with them, but I foresee them being friends in the long run in the long run after they settle their differences i have no idea where this plot goes with vinland saga i have no predictions we're about to start the stardew valley arc it seems like except for you're one of the the, the workers <laughs> uh, but the end goal of, of of vinland saga is to get to vinland and live a happy life right that's what thor's was that's what thor's thorfinn's father tried to pass along to him. So I gotta imagine that this is just going to be another phase of his life and eventually they will break free from being slaves and be real men and raise a family and maybe Thorfinn will find his sister and his mother again and I just, this show is so special to me. It's got so many, it's got so many lessons you can learn and I really, really liked that ending too. I have to say her voice was amazing. Choosing an English um, choosing somebody, I, th I don't know who that is, the, the L-Y-M-K, I think her name was. She, if she's Japanese and she's singing in English, it sounds perfectly fluent. If it, she, she might be, uh, sometimes they they get like some music from other people, but the Without Love is just such a perfect ending for the song choice for this anime, especially after we saw what happened to Anar in the beginning with him losing all of the people that love him beautiful ending song with the visuals too with the wheat fields and then how Thorfinn and Anar feel about their predicament loved it man all right guys thank you guys so much for watching today really appreciate it let me know what you thought about the first episode of Inland Saga season two down in the comment section and I just want to thank you guys for all your support on both YouTube and Patreon it truly means the world to me and thank you so much if you're in a comment tier subscriber over here and that'll have to do it for me for today, guys. I've been Zach, you've been you, and I'll see you guys all in the next one.